recently to start doing in my mailbox. In my mailbox. And today I'm going to do my in my mailbox. In my mailbox. In my mailbox. So mailbox. But in my mailbox. And in my mailbox. In the mailbox. Hi guys, this is Jessica with Chapter Chicks and I am here to film my 24th in my mailbox. Today's date is the 22nd, so this will be going up on the 23rd, I guess. But um, I just want to say, like always, I'm so sorry I haven't been posting videos. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing that, but um, yeah, I'm trying to work on it. Um, I'm a busy girl. I have a, a basically full-time job now. Um, I got a new puppy. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. His name is Gizmo. And he's adorable, and I love him to death. And he's mean, and he's rude. And we love him. Look at how cute he is. Get this to camera. Who is that? Who is that Gizmo? Do you see? Mm. He's rotten. But so yeah, I've been taking care of him, <clears throat> training him and stuff like that. So I've been pretty busy. I haven't got much reading done because I've been watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer on Netflix. And um, I left my glasses at my boyfriend's house last week and we only get to see each other on the weekend now. So um, I can't get them until today. But I got a couple of great books these last two weeks. Um, last week I didn't film my In My Mail Walks because I was gone at a overnight flea market kind of thing where I got him. So, But um, last week I got City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, which I'm sure pretty much everyone who did an In My Mail Walks says that they got this book. So it's not new. I don't really need to tell you what it's about. It's the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series. That's all that really counts. And that is an awesome, awesome series. Like, the best. So, yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this, but I'm also kind of saving it for when I'm in a book rut and need something really, really good to read. Okay, the next thing I got last week was a second copy of The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. Um, basically what this is about is um, is a, like a witch. There's this legend about a witch and like the legend kind of starts coming true when a girl moves into town. So it's like all crazy like what's going on, who done it, all this cool stuff. So I'm really looking forward to reading this but it doesn't come out for a while. So. The next thing I got was Flawless by Laura Chapman. Um, what this is about is a girl who's basically flawless except for her nose. And then I, I guess that's really important. It's on the synopsis. Um, she's pretty much perfect except for her nose. And she has like the best friend, the best life. And then a new boy comes into school. And her and her best friend both fall for them, or for this guy. But her best friend asks her to help snag the new guy for her best friend. So, and she agrees to it because, you know, it's her best friend and all, but then, like, she's like, oh, crap, what did I do because I like him, too. So it looks really cute. Um, I like the cover. She doesn't have a nose, which I guess is, she's flawless except for her nose. And um, the next thing I got is uh, Tempest Rising, and this is by Tracy Deebs. This is about a girl whose mother abandoned them when she was little, and then she um, finds out that her mother is a mermaid and Tempest is half mermaid and I think it's her 17th birthday she has to decide whether or not she wants to be a mermaid or whether or not she wants to be a person like human so yeah that looks really good it reminds me of the Disney movie um, the 13th year but it's about a 17 year old and it sounds a lot different like he likes or she likes this mermaid or this mer paranormal guy and there's like sea witches and all kinds of stuff so it looks crazy cool and the cover is really pretty she's got this really oh, really awesome tattoo and like she's all scaly and stuff and then just today I got a finished copy of are you going to kiss me now and this is by Sloane Tannen 
And what this is about is um, a girl who uh, is abandoned on a island with five celebrities. And, like, you know, you'd think, oh, my God, if I could be on an island with five celebrities, it would be so crazy. But then, like, it ends up being, like, a big hassle. And it looks like it's going to be really, really cute and really, really funny. It says it's kind of like a group therapy edition of Survivor. So, I really want to read this. It looks so cute. It smells good. So, yeah, I'll probably be picking this up really soon. But, yep, that is all I got in my mailbox this week. What did you guys get in yours? Sugar. Sunshine, pour your sweetness over me. Pour your sweetness over me. 